Hi beautiful people, I'm Courtney. If you're new here, welcome. If you aren't new, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching this video. Today I'm back with another video that you guys seem to be loving. These are my 100% honest unboxing underrated slime shops. These are slimes that you guys have sent me for the purpose of a review. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. We're back with another one today. All these shops are gonna be listed down below in the description box if you'd like to check them out for yourselves and get some of their slimes that I show in this video. And also disclaimer, as always, always with these videos. I get a ton of hate when it comes to these videos. I am never, ever, 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 ever trying to be rude, mean, anything to any of these slime shops. These are sent to me for the purpose of a review. These are people looking for ways they can improve on their slimes. So this is my opinion, my feedback, and if you don't like 100% honest reviews, definitely make sure to just click out of this video and go find another fun slime video to watch. So just keep that in mind. Please keep an open mind when you're watching this video. And let's go ahead, I'm super excited to to unbox these, so let's get started. The very first slime package is from Panda Green Slimes, and there was so many awesome goodies in this. I can't wait to show you guys everything. I was literally so excited, and it came packaged so nicely, so professionally. I loved it. So we have, first up are these two erasers. These are like the cutest erasers ever. I use erasers all the time, so these are going to be my on my desk, my new favorite. And also some candy and this super slow rising squishy hot dog. I absolutely loved these extras. Thank you so much. Much. They were so awesome. And then of course we have three slimes here. They were all packaged super nicely. However, for some reason, only this one cracked right here. Um, I was really shocked it cracked. There was literally nothing else she could have done because it was packaged perfectly. So accidents just happen sometimes. And the only thing from the label I would recommend is the label is so cute. Instead of like hand cutting it out and taping it, I would highly recommend just getting a sheet of labels. They were really, really cheap when you work them out. They're like a penny, a sticker. So super cheap. So this first slime is called I Love Cookies and it's scented like a bakery. It smells so good and it came with two charms. Now the only thing was maybe because it had a crack in it, this one was really, really stiff. It was very hard to stretch and I had to put a lot of pressure on it just to kind of squish it down. So it was hard to play with. This is great if you're just trying to hold it in your hand, but like stretchiness wise, it just for some reason wasn't very stretchy. It would have to sit for a really long time to actually get to like a stretchy consistency but that smelled really good and I loved the charms on it This next slime is called Blue Cupcake Frosting and it came with this cutest cupcake charm. I absolutely loved it. It matched it so well. And this one also was a very tough texture. I'm not sure what it is. It's maybe there's too much clay in it. I'm not quite sure. It wasn't quite as stiff as the other one, but it definitely did still have a very stiff consistency. It was definitely more like a putty type of slime, but this one still had some stretch to it. So I definitely like this one better than the last one. But the color was gorgeous like look how pretty this blue color is and it had some fake sprinkles in it and the cupcake and it smelled delicious just like a cupcake and bakery so I really liked like the concept of this one it was really really nice Now this last slime from her is called Caramel Candy and I absolutely loved this one. Look how pretty and metallic this one is and the charm was my favorite. I absolutely loved it. It reminded me kind of like a bumblebee but like in a candy form. I really liked it. It was super clicky and pokey. It was the perfect consistency. It was stretchy. I didn't have to activate it and it just, I loved the texture of this one. I wish the other two kind of had this texture and the color was absolutely beautiful. This one was awesome also scented as well. They all smelled so good.
This next package is from SkySlimes.com and it was also packaged really nicely, really professionally, had some really cute extras. So all her orders come with a free two ounce slime. So I think this container and the concept is super, super cute. And she had nice business cards. I got a ring pop and also some jumbo foam beads. So tons of fun extras. And everything was packaged really nicely. Labels were great. Uh, I really liked it. And I loved how she also put the scent on the bottom of the label because I always forget what scents they are. So it's nice to have that on there. So this first slime is called Plum Cloud and it is a cloud slime and it's scented like Plumeria, which is very like floral. It smells really nice. And she also used those heat seals on it. So everything was packaged like awesome. Now this cloud slime was amazing. Like look at the texture. The drizzle was real. I absolutely loved this one. It was like the perfect cloud texture. She got the perfect consistency and the color is absolutely beautiful. This slime was literally perfect. There isn't anything I would change about it. It was so amazing. This next slime is called Thousand Wishes and it's scented like Thousand Wishes from Bath and Body Works, which, oh my gosh, this is probably like my favorite scent ever. It smelled so good. I've never smelt it before and this one was just incredible. So it's a metallic phloem. It was quite a bit on the sticky side. I did have to activate it a decent amount, which is okay. It definitely is starting to get warmer out. So it only really bothers me if it's like super, super sticky. If it only needs a little bit of activator, like no big deal at all. Um, but it was super stretchy. It did leave a little bit of residue on my fingers but it was just so clicky and stretchy it was does, definitely wasn't like the putty consistency like some clear slimes are this was like a super stretchy nice clear slime Now this last slime is called strawberry cream and it's a thick strawberry scented butter slime and it's made with model magic and daiso clay and this one was amazing the perfect texture straight out of the package it didn't need any activating and it smelled delicious just like strawberries it had a really nice fruity scent and it was definitely spreadable it wasn't too thick it was that perfect mixture of like being stretchy and still a butter slime so i loved this i think her slimes were amazing i was super impressed with all of them and this one just had a really really nice texture to it The last package is from bunnyslime.co and again I am so impressed with you guys you guys stepped up your game this was another package that was packaged super well really nicely everything was bubble wrapped some amazing extras she sent this slow rising squishy and this one was so cute I loved it and she also sent some jumbo foam beads I love this pastel color they're so pretty and also some extras and a beautiful ran really sweet card so I absolutely loved the card and I loved just like the whole design of the card it was really really cute this first slime is called mint oreo bites and it has it's like a java chip slime and i absolutely again am obsessed with this oreo cookie charm it is so cute um it is just it makes this slime it was quite a bit on the sticky side i did have to activate it a decent amount but it's a java chip slime so it has some black foam chunks it's like a pastel green color and it smells just like mint oreos and has some black glitter in it to make it look like a cookies and cream and inspired slime so the black foam chunks make for a really awesome texture to the slime and it was a very clicky slime and it was scented also like mint chocolate chip I don't know if I mentioned that uh, so I liked this one a lot I think it was themed really well and I enjoyed it
This next slime is called Funfetti Ice Cream, and it's a white cloud slime with pink glitter sprinkles, a candy charm, and it's cotton candy and cupcake scented. And I absolutely loved all the little charms and glitters on top. The only problem is I had a lot of trouble actually getting the entire slime out of the container, and I actually wasn't able to get it all out. That was about as good as I could get it. So it did have some trouble coming out. I'm not really sure why, but I absolutely loved the scent of it. This was definitely more like a cloud dough though, instead of like a cloud slime. It didn't have really that drizzle effect, like a full on. It had a little bit of drizzle, but just not a ton. So I think it was just like a little off in the proportions, um, but it was a really nice like cloud dough slime and I loved the scent on it. And last but not least, we have this coconut confetti cream, which is a white butter slime. And she sent a little baggie with all these sprinkles and glitters to put on top. And it took me a minute to realize that the Mickey Mouse charm from the beginning in the extras bag went with the slime, but I figured it out eventually. But this was an awesome butter slime texture and it smelled so good. It had a really nice coconut scent and it wasn't like too overpowering or anything like that. So it had a really nice scent to it. And I love the little Mickey Mouse charm that went with it. So this was an awesome really soft really fluffy butter slime so I love this one as well I think all these shops did amazing in this video if you want to be featured in my next video all you have to do is send me a DM on my slime Instagram make sure you're DMing me from your slime Instagram account that way I could check out your slime shop and all that fun stuff and I will get back to you if you would like to send some slimes to be reviewed but yeah I really enjoyed this slime a lot If you made it to the end of this video, you are part of my hashtag super squad. Leave that in the comments down below to let me know that you made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you missed my past few videos, you can click on over to the side of me to check them out. And I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.